A narrowly passed House bill with school safety measures and gun ownership protocol remains without a signature from the governor. Governor Scott told reporters that he wants to read the entire 105 page bill. He also wants to talk to families of the Parkland shooting victims. Our Jasmine Stiles joins us now with more on this. Jasmine, any idea where the governor is in this process? Well, Governor Scott is supposed to talk with the families today. He wants to hear their thoughts on the provisions that would keep your kids safe when they step on school campuses like this one. Now, while many are applauding the bill that bans bump stocks, creates an anonymous tip line for students to report threats and creates a three day waiting period for weapons purchases, there's one line that has people in an uproar. The Guardian program would allow some teachers and staff to carry guns. Now, Governor Scott has said before he'd rather leave that to law enforcement. Polk County Superintendent agrees. I want to be very clear on where I stand. This is absolutely not the answer. The Florida Education Association also agrees with Superintendent Byrd. They've started a petition on their website hoping to garner enough support so that Governor Scott could use his power to one to basically line item veto just taking that one part of the bill out. Again, this measure would cost about $67 million to do. There's a couple other districts who are for and against, and we have that full list on our website. That's abcactionnews.com. We're live in Tampa. I'm Jasmine Stiles, ABC Action News.